What's up, guys? This is Dark Blue, a gamer who loves Souls like games, looter games, and every game that involves build making. In this video, I will show you a brief beginner guide of Namaya, perhaps the most beloved character in Grand Blue Fantasy, really. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's dive right into it. What's the uniqueness of Namaya? She's a combo character, but different from other combo characters such as Cadeostro, who can perform different combos by simply doing different numbers of light attacks before a heavy attack, Namaya has a complicated combo rule. A great number of legal combos can originate from the rule. So the first challenge of learning Namaya is to understand the combo rule. After this, you will meet the second challenge. From so many legal combos, how can you find the best one given a specific combo situation? To make things even worse, Namaya has a special resource, butterflies, to manage, which becomes the third challenge. Because of the three challenges, a Namaya player has to think a lot in combat. Even if I show you many details in this video, you won't be able to really remember and use them all in a fast-paced combat. By the way, I'm not a devoted Namaya player myself, so I don't have so many experiences to share. So I decided to make this guide brief. My suggestions may not be entirely optimal, but they are surely able to help you have less to think about in combat. Following, there will be three parts. I will first illustrate the combo rule, then analyze what moves are better than others, and finally provide my advice on how to choose the best combo to do. So let's have a look at the combo rule. Namaya has two stances, the red one and the blue one, which can be switched through a heavy attack. The switch moves can also deal some damage. In each stance, she has a unique light attack moveset, so that is four movesets in total. But in fact, the four movesets above all have their enhanced versions, so Namaya has eight movesets. Uh, in red, basic light is slow charge and enhanced light is fast charge. In blue, basic light consists of some slow attacks and a final series of quick slashes. And enhanced light can skip the slow attacks and do quick slashes directly. Basic switches are all single slash. Enhanced switch to red and to light have more unique moves. How to perform enhanced moves? Basically, if you switch after doing a full set of light attacks, it'll be enhanced. Know that you have to reach max charge in resistance to trigger enhanced switch. And if you do light immediately after an enhanced switch, it'll also be enhanced. This can form an endless loop of enhanced switch and enhanced light attacks. Besides, after link attack, you can do both enhanced light and enhanced switch. After skills, you can do enhanced light. And if you do three non-charged light attacks in resistance, you can also perform light enhanced light. This figure summarizes the entire combo rule. You can take your time to digest it. According to this rule, there are many legal combos, but they are not all good. Let's analyze the performance of each move so that we can later come up with some decision strategies. So Namaya has three major DPS skills. Transient, Lounge, and Setsuna. They are basically better than basic attacks. Among them, you can roughly think that Transient is the best. Know that Transient is the only skill that has different moves under two stances. It deals more damage in blue, but more stun in red. At the beginner stage, you may, well, simply ignore the red Transient to make things simpler. All in all, Namaya needs to use skills actively. The performance of skills depend on how many butterflies you have. All hand attacks and link attack can generate two butterflies if you have the unique sigils of a Namaya equipped. Then what about basic attacks? Enhanced switch to blue and enhanced light in blue are generally better, you can use them more. But enhanced switch to red takes too much time, so use it less. To avoid enhanced switch to red, the longest combo you can do starts with enhanced light in red. 
So that's what you'll need to know at the beginner stage. Now let's think about how to choose the best combo. First of all, I suggest you master three combos in special situations. In the meantime, butterflies are now consumed, so you can use skill as long as you have skills ready. If no skill is ready, just use light attack in blue until some skills are ready. If you have multiple skills ready, the priority order is launch uh, before transient before Satsuna. When you can do link attack, switch to red in advance and do enhance switch to blue and enhance lighting blue afterwards. If enemies enter a very very long time of stagger, such as when you are doing SBA chain, you can simply well spam the enhance attack loop until the skill is ready. After the three special situations, it's time for the strategy in regular cases. To make it brief, you may only consider two factors. Can you use skills and how long do you wish the combo to last? So what counts as you can use skills? Of course they must not be included. Furthermore, you need to check your butterflies. Make sure you use transient only when you have max butterflies. As for other skills, it's okay to ignore butterflies. If you can use skills, use a skill to start a combo. Otherwise, start a combo with light attack. Then what about combo duration? It mainly depends on the actual attack window given by enemy. If you want a shorter combo, start in blue stance. For a longer combo, start in red stance. But remember, always use transient in blue stance. So that's the race strategy. Check if you can use skills to decide whether to start with a skill or light attack. And choose one stance according to your expected combo duration. Also, remember to use transient in blue. Now you can check out this simple example. There's also a very brief build guide as a gift. Just like other combo characters, it's a good idea to equip an uninterruptibility sigil. As for skills, supplementary damage buff, transient, and launch are always good. You can choose either Satsuna or Parry for the last lock. Satsuna is for higher DPS, of course. Parry can be used to counter the burst of overdrive so that it's easier to escape overdrive. If you like my story or want to draw me into depth of games, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you around.